As far as I understand, NBA Youngboy started his own blood set out of Baton Rouge. See, that's the problem with these pedestrians talking about gang life. This dude literally is setting NBA Youngboy up, especially since his platform is so big for Rico. At the very least, a gang enhancement for California, y'all know. In fact, interesting judicial fact. Nah, but when you in prison, or not prison, in jail, you fighting your case, and they're trying to prove the gang enhancement on you in California, they have to prove that you did the crime because of the gang. One, they have to identify the gang by complete name. In my case, for the first six months, they just were saying we was gang members and they said I was from this and this wasn't a gang. In fact, my gang specialist said every tattoo I have was gang related. I have a cross with my grandmother RIP and my auntie RIP. He said that was gang related. He's a pedestrian. In fact, he had four months. Astounding, four months. Gang specialist training. I guess he was an expert. I digress. There's, he's low key playing a big role in establishing a future case for NBA if it's not a case he's already fighting or been approached with. It's pretty much the same thing they doing with Young Thug. Established that he started a gang or has a gang or runs a gang. Now they just need to find a couple people from that gang that's doing crimes. And they can say it's all for that gang. The way that law works is really janky. I personally believe it's a black code. Do your research you know what black codes are. Even to go further, a lot of people say dudes like him, I believe Vlad, like profit from our culture, black culture. Or urban culture, I guess. Because it's not just black people. That's a deeper topic. Anyway, it's hard to say otherwise. They use stuff like this in trials. Like this interview, they will use this. In fact, in my case, because I went down for uh, residential burglars, which are flockings. They pulled up a YouTube video that I've never even seen. How to flock. I think from some dude from 30s or maybe 40s. I can't remember. I Actually, I still haven't seen the video to this day. 14 years later, I'm crazy. I, I need to Google that. I mean, YouTube that. Anyway, they used that video and said, this is what they're doing. They probably watched this video. I'm sitting in court like, what the fuck? So there's no doubt in my mind that they would, would use these type of expert testimony.